You think this story's going to have a happy ending? Happy endings are just stories that haven't finished yet. Was there a point you would have gotten married, do you think? I don't know. I wonder. <laughs> Imagine. I wanted to. Yeah, no. You and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> Top 10 actors who fell in love on set. Just like any other workplace, weird things can happen on the set of movies between co-workers. Sometimes, personalities do not mesh or gel well. On-set clashes take place, or directors end up driving everybody else insane. But sometimes, things go so well that actors end up dating. In this video, we're going to tell you about the top 10 actors who fell in love on set. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! 10. Kid Harrington and Rose Leslie Meeting Kit Harrington for the first time, um, you know, uh, back in season two, it, he's a lovely man. He really is very charming, very funny, and so um, and so that you know there was no awkwardness going on there. There was you know there was a good dialogue going off screen and obviously on screen, and so no, he made it very easy. Game of Thrones fans from all across the world were rejoicing when stars of the hit TV show Kit Harrington and Ross Leslie announced their engagement. Fans have been shipping them as a couple for the longest time ever since they lit up the silver screen with their charm and sparking chemistry. The couple announced their engagement in the forthcoming marriages section of The Times in September of 2017. The two had been previously involved in an on-again, off-again relationship since 2012. On June 23rd in 2018, the couple were married in Arbindon. Harrington later also appeared on The Jonathan Ross Show and absolutely gushed when saying that he fell in love with his co-star. He jokingly also said that Rose played you greedy and she was just the loveliest girl ever and she could do so much better than settling for him. Amelia Clark, who played the awe-inspiring Daenerys Targaryen on Game of Thrones, also remarked on the romance. She said that the crew loved to spread the love around while filming and that Rose was a very close friend to her so she was delighted this happened. 9. Michelle Williams and Heath Ledger it was said that when he was really rough on her during a scene that he would apologize and, and wrap her in his embrace and I'm sorry I was hard on you today, that sort of thing. But that's where they became extremely close and that's where they fell in love. The beautiful love story of Michelle Williams and Heath Ledger is both heartbreaking and warming, somehow at the same time. After they met on the set of the Oscar-nominated huge hit Brokeback Mountain, the pair fell head over heels in love and began dating. It was the movie that propelled Heath Ledger to world fame. The screenwriter of the movie described just how quickly Ledger had fallen in love with Williams. He said that he remembered that Heath looked at Williams with a wide-eyed love all the time. Williams was almost startled by how deep and intense the intention was getting, but it was evident from day one that the two had some feelings for each other. For Heath, it was truly love at first sight. He was so taken with her. The couple went on to have a child together as well, but sadly parted ways in 2007. Sadly, the uber-talented actor passed away from an overdose and acute intoxication in 2008. 8. Javier Barton and Penelope Cruz 18-year-old Cruz met her now husband on the set of that drama film in the 90s. Did she expect that she and Javier Bardem, who played sexy badass Raul, would get married? Probably not. Moreover, it seemed that neither of them initially craved the other. These two megastars of the industry have been working together for some time and had actually first met on the set of Jamin Jamin in 1992. But it was not until they filmed in 2007 for Woody Allen that they fell in love. The movie was called Vicky Cristina Barcelona. The couple were lovely and great together and even managed to somehow keep a very low public profile. They simply dipped out of the limelight and refused to discuss their personal lives with the media. They were married in July 2010 and together they have two kids a son named Leo, and a beautiful daughter named Luna. 7. Johnny Depp and Weona Ryder uh, You've got a stable relationship, you say. Does this mean that you're going to get married? Sir? Um, when we have time, we will, but we would want to do it at a time when we don't have to go to work right away. Perpetual Hollywood heartthrob Johnny Depp and 90s bombshell Weona Ryder were definitely one of the biggest it couples of the early 90s in Hollywood. They had met each other and gotten together after filming Edward Scissorhands with Tim Burton as the director. Not only did the two actors fall in love with each other, but it also marked the first time Depp had worked with Tim Burton. This would be the first of countless fruitful endeavors that the both of them would have with each other. The couple went on to get engaged five months after their first ever date. Depp even famously got a tattoo of himself which said Winona forever. Sadly, the romance faded and in June of 1993, the pair announced that they had parted ways. Seeing the funny side of things later, Depp got his tattooed altar to say why no forever instead. 
well, at least he had a sense of humor about it. Liam Hemsworth and Miley Cyrus. Oh, You're running away. Okay. He's running away. Hello? Get over here, hubs. <laughs> Thank you to my beautiful wife. Don't you dare make this about me. This one was always unusual to begin with. In 2009, while shooting the adaptation of Nicholas Sparks' novel called The Last Song, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth embarked on a romance. The former Hannah Montana star and the man whose brother would go on to become Thor in all the Marvel Universe movies fell in love very quickly. After a three-year romance with occasional on-and-off-again ups and downs, the couple got engaged to each other in 2002. But sadly, they had to separate in 2013. Liam went on to reflect and say that Miley would always be his best friend and they had almost instantaneous and powerful connection. Rumors began doing the rounds in January 2016 that the two had reconciled and once again began dating. Cyrus went to Ellen and told her that they were once again engaged. The two were then married in a private event at a home ceremony in December of 2018. 5. Jennifer Gardner and Ben Affleck In 2018, he was seen in this photo, being driven to a treatment facility by his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. The 47-year-old calls his divorce from the actress, quote, the biggest regret of my life. Benefer 2.0, the new and improved version, met each other while filming Daredevil in 2003. But Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck did not start dating each other until after 2004. During this time, Ben Affleck was very famously dating Jennifer Lopez, and it was called the Benefer in the Hollywood media. They both got married in a private ceremony that was officiated by the co-star of Garner in Alias, Victor Garber. Together, the two A-listers would have three children together, one son and two daughters. After rumors began swirling around of an alleged affair, the couple announced that they had separated in 2015. The divorce was officially finalized in 2018. 4. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith And I got into an entanglement with August, that's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship, absolutely. Truly one of Hollywood's most beloved and rock-solid couples which have been going strong for the last 30 years. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith have been a thing since 1997. The pair first appeared on the set of Will Smith's hit show and breakout role, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, in 1994. When Pinkett was auditioning for his love interest on the show was the first time they laid eyes on each other. She was considered to be too short for the part, and the role ultimately went to Nia Long. But she got the better end of the deal when she and Will became friends and dated in 1995. They wed on New Year's in 1997 and have two children, Jaden and Willow Smith. 3. Stephen Moyer and Anna Paquin The most amazing sort of drama school you could ever hope to go to. And this one. The twins. I mean, you know, things have, things have been pretty good on the personal <laughs> life front. Um. These two lovebirds met on the set of the HBO hit show True Blood during an early screen test. It did not take long for the two to develop some mutual feelings, though. The pair began dating shortly after. Moyer had said in interviews that by day three or four of meeting her, he already knew that he wanted to spend the rest of his life on Earth with this woman. It was an instant thing for him. They both married in 2010, and she had twins Charlie and Poppy in 2012. 2. Robert Patterson and Christine Stewart Oh man. I feel bad. Because I don't feel like kissing you. You don't want to kiss me, do you? Uh, well, I mean, it's been a long time, and I, I think maybe we should finally go for it. Who could possibly forget the ultimate team fantasy shipping of Christine Stewart and Robert Patterson? Every teenager and 20-something-year-old wanted the two to be dating as they had so much romance on the big screen. The sparkly vampires met while filming in 2008 for Twilight. They had kept their private lives a secret from the media for the longest time, though. No one knew of their relationship till 2012. This had to be done because unflattering photos of Stewart with Rupert Sanders, who was the film's director and married at the time, came out. The couple broke up due to this, but reconciled in October 2012. Unfortunately, they could not work things out, and they had to call it quits in 2013. Though their love story was doomed to fail, the story of Bella and Edward will live on in our hearts for all of eternity. 1. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie It was doomed from the beginning. That's what the author of Brangelina says. They wanted to be the next incarnation of Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, take it to epic proportions, but there was tension, turmoil, and controversy from the get-go in this relationship. It is impossible to write a list of set celebrity couples and romance without mentioning the biggest couple of them all. 
Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were probably the biggest couple in Hollywood ever. The infamous Brangelita met each other while filming the action movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith in 2004. And as everyone on planet Earth knows, they fell madly in love. Only problem that existed was that Pitt was already married to Jennifer Aniston at the time. The chaos that followed after this was all over the news and each tabloid of the world. Brad and Jen finally divorced in 2005, and Brad would go on to adopt Angelina's children. The couple were together for a decade and separated in 2016, and shared six children with each other during the time. That's a wrap for a brief look at the 10 actors who fell in love on set. Was there a romance that we were not aware of? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for videos like this. See you in the next one!